All right. Welcome to a video. We're going to look at mercenaries again. And just a sort of like update to, you know, obviously I'm not sure. It depends. I don't know what other people are, what stage they're at with this. But I just sort of give tips on what I can, what I've got up to so far. First thing to mention is this. These task fives, they're all, I think they're always the same. You have to be at level 30. So it's something to keep in mind that you really do want to kind of level up as many of your mercenaries as possible. Well, I haven't got that many at the moment, but you can see most of them are pretty close to level 30. Some of these new ones I just got, but uh, actually just got King Crush as well. And you sort of have to look like like which ones you want. Like King Crush is pretty useful to get. I'll tell you where I got that from, actually. Um, I think I got it from probably not that heroic. It was pretty Barons, one of the later ones. I think it was, I think it was, yeah. Which one was it? I think a later one here, maybe. No, it wasn't. It's actually Felwood, isn't it? I haven't even got this point. Yeah, this this is a pretty good one, though. I did. I obviously haven't even got to this point in heroic yet. This is a, this is a this is an interesting one. I need to look into this because the boss of this is basically it's like there's six green demon dudes and they're constantly like getting fifty health back every turn. So this is going to be an interesting one. Um, I should be able to pass it. It's just I need to think about how to actually do it. But you can see what you get. Uh, a lot of these ones, uh, these Felwood later ones, they actually get you some pretty good some pretty good cards. This is really good. Like Mukla is what I'm looking for. Obviously, I've just got King Crush, uh, but you can get these two. These these uh, Felwood bounties are really good, and I think in general it's worth working out. And this is this will be like this is like my next step to work out how we can sort of quickly progress through these ones, because obviously there's a bunch of good stuff on there. Is are the are the bounties on higher levels that much? Well, I've got to. I actually have. I've only just about got to Black Rock Mountain. Um, we can't even see much. Can you even? You can't even. It's locked still. But looking at the first one, I mean, I assume that they're better. Whether they're that much better, though, I'm not sure. These just got added. These three, I think. Uh, I don't know. I need to look into that. It's quite heroic for Winter Spring. You can see what you get for these. So the first one is good for Rexar. If you want a beast thing. Because there's a lot of different things like it's like which one do you want to go for? And it really is like most of the time you can get to the boss on almost like even on the ones that I haven't like like you know I, I feel like it's actually fairly straightforward in general to get to the boss. But the boss is like an order of magnitude much harder and you need to actually know how to do it, right? So that's like an interesting thing. Um and there's a big difference between but yeah, I mean, it just depends what you want. I'll tell you, like, what I've been trying to do is, as I'm sort of, like, trying to move into a point where I'm trying to get a grip, I think it would, like, I think it's, like, you know, like, as time passes and there come more, it'll be sort of increasingly obvious how to put stuff together. I tried to, in these first ones, to do, like, like, we know that these are both humans, right? Because it's kind of, like, funny, like, some stuff, like, do you attack or do you heal? What's got good AoE? Let's maybe start with that. What has got good AoE? And I'll tell you out the ones I've got. Archer is cool. He's got amazing AoE. Especially if you've got Brucan, It buffs it up a lot. I'd probably up... This would probably be my next upgrade. Because I'm using this. I got the... This is a pretty... Uh, the life... I mean, this is maybe what I do. This restores so much health to you. And you need to do this sort of thing like all the time. Uh, you know, I've, I certainly know that this is really good. Um, but you sort of like, I don't know. Like for instance, on Zyrella, I did put that in there. But honestly, I'd probably be better off just sticking with Radiant Wand. Um, because this is the the atonement. I feel like I feel like the atonement is not really worth it. I'd be better off just sticking with this. I mean, that's pretty good, right? Because the thing is, like, 
I feel as you go up in higher levels, you're going to be able to restore more health anyway. So that buff is not so important. It still stays at 20 health. It's just more damage. I don't know. You have to, you have to think about which one to use there. Now, my, basically, the one that I tend to use is this one in party 8. This is what I actually use most. Of the time. Oh, is it? Well, no. I'm, I'm swapping them around a lot. The thing is, you don't want to do two. You want to, like, constantly mix it up. Because if you constantly do the same thing, you're going to max out just a few of them, and then the others will be under leveled. You may as well just try and get, try and be like jack of all trades sort of thing. That's my sort of approach to it. Uh, so this, you can see human, human, human. This means you're going to get during your run, you'll get bunch, bunch of like human buffs. And the idea is that like this restores, yeah, restore health, attack, and then buff. And Connery, is, is this the same, isn't it? Restore health, attack, and it's kind of buff, I suppose. This guy, no restore health. It's attack, buff, attack. I think that maybe that's how, it, it's kind of like hard to explain how it works. This is obviously single target, and the two single target attacks, and a buff. This is one single target attack, one health restore, one single target health restore, and then a buff. And then this is like, no, and then, yeah. One health restore, and then these two are kind of the same, the damaging things. But see, something like this, this is much more aggro, right? Everything is aggro, yeah. You've got to be careful. Like, you don't want to have, like, every single thing being aggro because then you've got no health restore. And you can see, what's task seven? Yeah, this is what I really need. This is why uh, people use Tavish so much because your traps last until they're triggered. And the point with that is that these are on cooldown, right? You have to wait a turn. I did, you know, I probably could have... Yeah, we'll probably upgrade the bear trap next, but... I still don't really know what level these go up to, though. Like, I have never got past, I don't think, this level four. So I, I wonder if it keeps on going up. I think probably five is the end. But yeah, so this is the party. This is, I mean, the thing is, like, all parties can work. I just do two twos and two. Let's see what other parties. These are the ones I actually tried to curate in some way. Difficult, though. This is something that I'm going for. This, I think, could work. Because I've got a very strong party in terms of, I went for the nature thing, right? Uh, now, depending on how good these are, I do actually have, the thing is, most people would probably say you put Guff in as well. Um, one thing about Guff, though, it's really about the living brambles. I think I've probably got that in at the moment. What's task seven for Guff? Runic Slam. I mean, that is kind of, yeah, I mean, different ways you could potentially do that. But I did want to put in the Murlocs. I haven't got Mutanus though. So I don't know how good this one is, but. Um, yeah, there's different ways to look at it. Like, I actually even put. Anaconda is an interesting card. Well, it's kind of obvious what's going on with this. Just Murloc buffs. You're going to get, you're going to get lots of, like, buff your Murlocs and stuff. I did also think it might be a good idea to put it in this one, I think, right? Did I? Yes. And what I was thinking here, if it's a beast, just give it seven health. There's a beast. There's a beast. And you can see this is the link, right, between beast and arcane. 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 So maybe that will work. And then Grumash. Nothing really managed to fit in terms of that. And I do like Battle Fury. Um, So it's kind of like, of course, and then for instance, I could do another one, like, these are all just like rough attempts, basically, so that wherever quests you get, because that's really what you want to have. You want to have various different parties, because when you get your tasks, they're going to be just random cards all over the place. So if you've got parties to do it with, it might, it's, it's not necessarily a bad idea to, to work out some synergies between the parties. That's my thinking. And what was I doing? I think I did sort of have some plan for this. 
uh, what was the plan? I don't know. It's it's like unfortunately when you don't have enough cards, you just sort of put stuff together kind of randomly. This may have been just like whatever you got left. Demon, and I think this does. F I should have looked in the word shadow to see what else has got there. Probably nothing I've got. Oh yeah, maybe. I don't know. This is not shadow. This is just what it's called, shadow blade. Yeah. This is like a rogue thing, I guess. Problem is, stuff like fro like frost. It's like there's only a few of them, and if you don't have them, you just don't have them, right? This doesn't do any frost stuff. No, this is probably just a word. Somehow the word frost is in there. But you can see if you don't have it, this doesn't do frost, Brookan. The only thing that actually will do frost is Jaina. I think pretty sure will do frost stuff. You need to have some of these other cards. But I've only got 30 points towards Jaina, and that's like a 500er. This is a tough situation to be in. But I think there comes a certain point, like for instance, at the moment, you notice I've got Crush. If I look at my Mukla, for instance, this is not this is not like unattainable, right? So what my plan will be, obviously, is just to do the one uh, to get more for Mukla. And it's not definitely that hard. Uh, but just to show, maybe, let's see what this party looks like. Did I set this one? Uh, this is not really set. I've probably got a decent amount of orcs. I've got Gromash, I've got Gruul. Yeah, I mean, you could do... This is pretty close as well. So, uh, so we're close to getting that one. And I think this is what happens. Just as you play, you just get slightly closer. So then once you get them, the amount of coins you're going to get from the task is actually pretty solid. Funnily enough, Gul'dan as well. I'm not bad on Gul'dan. And that's because of what I showed you at the beginning. Uh, I've been doing that one a lot. So not too far off Gul'dan. And yeah, when you look at the amount that there are, there's not that many. There's not that many. So, and the thing is, like, remember, like, in a year or two's time, there's going to be millions of these things. So definitely, it's the same with, even with the vanilla game, right? If you do the tasks early, you'll have, you have these, you know, you have them you know, in a year or two's time. All right, that's all. Just wanted to have a little just chat about that, I guess. So thanks for watching.